In this video, we're going to connect to the Ivona API using the Pivona module in Python, the Pivona that we have imported here. To get your Ivona API keys that you need for this, go to developer.ivona.com and register for free. Okay, so we're going over here in the placeholder for Ivona. And you usually create a voice in the following way. So we define a voice V is Pivona. So we're calling Pivona dot create voice. And over here you have key one and key two between quotation marks. That's how you do it if you are following along. In my case, I created another file in the same folder and I called it keys.py. That's why I'm importing everything from keys over here. So I'm basically importing my, my keys. So in keys and keys.py, I have two variables, key one and key two, holding my Ivona API keys. And I'm doing this because I don't want to display my keys over here. So in my case, I do v equals pivona dot create voice key one key two. Okay, that's how I create my voice. And you do it like this. Um, so my preferred Ivona voice as of right now is Emma. So once you have your um, voice created and once you have you're signed in with the with the Ivona with your API keys, you'll have to um, select the voice. Otherwise, I think it's selected they Ivona selects a default voice. But in my case, I usually want to use the voice. So V voice name, voice underscore name is Emma, which is a British voice that I prefer. You can select a male or female voice and language from the list on Ivona.com in the section voices. So you just go there, uh, get the name of the voice you want to use and do V voice name is the name of the voice you want to use. Okay, so that's it. Uh, to make sure it works, let's, let's try it out by um, having it say something. So how do you do this? Is V speak. Let's say, um, I don't know, I have been initialized, I have, <laughs> I have been initialized correctly between quotation marks. We're going to delete this afterwards. So let's run it, F5, okay, I have been initialized correctly, okay, so it works, let's do it one more time, I have been initialized correctly. All right, so it works. In the next few videos, we're going to build the callback and the threading functions, and we'll integrate them with the application. And with that in mind, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.